this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the three signs that you are about to go through a massive shift in consciousness and how you can most easily go through this process. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you those three signs that you are about to embark on a massive shift in consciousness and the best thing you can do going through this whole entire process. Now, a shift in consciousness is about understanding that one moment we feel respond to life in a certain way and then as we have certain realizations and as we go beyond the intellect and we realize that this is about experience, we start to be here now, we start to transform our level of consciousness. We start to really be in this new vibrational state of being. Now, this is something that happened to me. Many of you know my story of me explaining this. I'm not necessarily saying this is enlightenment. However, this is a massive shift in consciousness. And I went through this back in 2012. 2012, I felt a lot of resistance. I felt like the, my past was weighing me down in the present moment. I was working at Nordstrom's and women's shoes and I had to take Adderall for ADHD in order for me to focus and make money. The side effects of that were you don't eat very much, you don't sleep very much, so I'd go to work and I'd make a lot of money while I took this prescription for ADHD called Adderall, but when I went home at night, I couldn't eat very much, I couldn't sleep very much. So eventually I got online, did some research, said, hey, meditation's powerful and will help you get the same result. You'll be able to increase the amount of dopamine in the brain and decrease the amount of cortisol. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this. So I sat down and tried it. First two days didn't really experience much because I was trying to control my thoughts. Then I learned how to observe my thoughts and allow them to be there and that's when things began to change. Then about two or three times of meditating like this, I started to feel completely different about myself. I remember that I started to feel in a totally new way. I remember walking around my room after three or four days of doing this and asking myself, is this feeling gonna go away? Because on a scale of one to 10, I normally felt like I was at about a three to a five out of 10. So I didn't feel exactly horrible, but I didn't feel that great. Then after this experience and doing this, I started to feel like a seven or an eight out of 10. I started to observe my beliefs. I started to become aware that my beliefs were creating my reality. That I believed for so many years that because I had a painful childhood, that was, going, that was something that I should feel uh, unworthy of. I felt like I identified with my past. I felt like there was something wrong with me because I had so much energy and people labeled me as having ADHD. They're like, are you like that all the time? And it was something that I then was able to observe. I was even able to accept it and then it began to transform. So this shift in consciousness is literally something that will change your whole entire life. And if you're watching this video right now, then my bet is that you are about to go through this massive shift in consciousness because you can only perceive that which you are the vibration of. So as I share with you these different things, be aware if, if they resonate with you and if this is something that you are going through. So the first sign that you are about to go through a massive shift in consciousness is that simply things are not working in your life right now. That's where I was back in 2012. I realized that the things in my life were not working. This, this is outdated. I'm trying to just take this prescription. I'm trying to go to work every day. I'm trying to uh, control my thoughts. I'm trying to do all of these things. And the more that I tried, the more that I resisted in the present moment. And many people that have been through pain in the past, you know, so a lot of people notice that people that go through spiritual awakenings have been through a lot of pain in the past. And the reason that is, is a lot of times that pain creates pressure. And when there is that pressure, there is also the ability to come out on the other end and to know that you are so much more powerful. You're able to transmute the negativity into something that is positive. And so many times what our spirit will do, what we will do at a certain level is we will create this kind of pain so that we have something to create pressure for us to come out on the other end of. And that's what I did is I had this pain, I had all of this burden I was carrying around with me. I felt like why did I, I didn't have a normal childhood between the ages of seven to 15. I had a controlling, now it's my ex stepmom, a stepmom in my life at the time. And it was like having no freedom whatsoever, being required to work outside all the time, not allowed to have friends, not allowed to really go to school. I had to earn going to school or I'd get in trouble and I'd get school taken away. 
it was a very unique thing and I thought mm, that was the way it was. And although I looked around and noticed that friends, other people weren't experiencing that. They were allowed to do what they wanted. They were allowed to eat the food they wanted to do. Uh, me and my brother were both very malnutrition because of it. So this was something that was very, uh, was very different. But nonetheless, I was aware then after my dad divorced her when I was 15, for years I felt that resistance because why did all of that happen? Now at a certain level, I felt kind of excited because all of a sudden I have all this freedom and I don't have to deal with that level of control ever again. However, what I realized is I kept attracting people into my life that reflected that old personality of my, step, my ex stepmom. So for example, I had a manager at Nordstrom's that was the very same way. She, I mean, she physically couldn't abuse, but she could mentally and she could talk down to people. She was protected by upper management and she worked there for years. But the funny thing was is when I began to integrate all of this and I began to really allow the past to be what it was and I accepted it, within a week or two of doing this, that manager was fired. And people tried getting her fired for months and months, for years because she was talking down to people but she was protected by upper management so it couldn't get done. But finally it did and it did when I became at peace with it. So it's funny how a reflection, reality is a reflection of what we believe to be true. But if you find that things aren't working, my advice to you is to accept that things aren't working, to be aware of it but to know and to give it a positive meaning because the meaning is because things aren't working, you are becoming more aware of how to take your power back and this is a sign that then will push you in the direction of where you want to go. You know, sometimes the self-image and the old way of being just likes what is familiar. So if you're in and doing what is familiar and it's comfortable, it's like, let's just keep on doing this because it feels so good to do. And then it just keeps on going in the autopilot mind. It just keeps on going. But when something happens or there is this desire to wake up, this comes from that of knowing that there is so much more, that there is something to be shooken up and by this shaking up, there's this ability to then move into a new way of being. So this pressure is a good thing. Give this a positive meaning. Understand everything in life is fundamentally neutral and literally this is something I realize is something I have been even going through more so now. It's understanding that reality is just simply a reflection of what we believe to be true. If we change what we believe to be true, our whole reality will change because reality is just a reflection anyways. That's all it is. So if you get this experience that things are breaking apart, be grateful for it because that's showing you that the old reality is falling apart. I believe that over the next 10, 15 years, our government, different political structures you look around and see, they're going to continue to fall apart. They're not going to fall, they are falling apart. If you look around, you look at the last election, you look at the way people respond to what's happening, people are becoming more awake. They're becoming more aware. And the thing is, is the old 3D reality must fall apart before something else can come into fruition. You can't, you can't build a new sandcastle on top of an old sandcastle. You got to tear down the sandcastles so that you have the foundation to build a new one. The old system is falling apart. The old way of doing things is just falling apart. You may find that things in your life are falling apart, but that's okay. This is a part of the process. Be grateful for it because in this falling apart, there is new that can be built. In my old, when I was going through much this shift in consciousness, things were falling apart. There were times that I would feel kind of sad because some friends would kind of fall away. Certain things would happen, but it allowed for something great to come in, for me to come into finding my passion. I let go of the old nine to five job I had and by starting to put my energy into something I was really passionate about, I was able to let that structure fall away. But you see, you must take the first step and you must understand that this can be a powerful sign for you and if you're experiencing anything like this right now, then this is a sure sign that you are about to experience a massive shift in consciousness. Now the second sign that you are about to experience a massive shift in consciousness is you realizing and being aware of the ego. This is when you start to become aware of old patterns, for example. You may find, you may say, oh, I'm consistently thinking this way. And you look and you're like, well, that's just the way I've always thought. Why does it have to be that way? Like I said a minute ago, reality is simply a reflection of what we believe to be true. 
So if we have these thoughts, it's like well, this is the way reality is. You start to catch yourself. You start to become aware of why am I creating this? This is another thing. You start to take your power back and you realize why am I creating this? That's a much different question than why does this always happen to me? Treat everything in your life as if you chose it and your life will begin to transform. But you see, we normally, something happens, we give it a meaning and we resist it in the present moment. By resisting it in the present moment, we then create more of that. We always experience that which we are the vibration of. If we experience and interpret resistance, we will continue to experience and interpret that resistance. So the key to this is becoming aware of all of this because as we do, we then start to shift our level of awareness. But understand that everything in life is literally just a reflection of what we believe to be true. So normally what happens is in life, we go to the outside to change things. We, over, we go over to the mirror in the wall and we're like, well, why is that reflection there? I want to change it. We try to change that frown upside down and as we do that, we start to do it and we realize we don't get very far because we're trying to change the outer reflection and everyone is looking external. But when you start to realize that you can go inside, that is the sign that you are about to experience a massive shift in consciousness. Even just being aware that these are repetitive thoughts that you're having. You see, the ego just wants to survive. The ego is just repetitive thoughts happening over and over again. Things have happened in the past, bringing up past experiences. And when you identify with those thoughts, that will be your reality. You will think that that is real. But when you start to observe those thoughts, you start to shift out of the reaction mind and into the observation mind and into the present moment. Most people are walking around at the whims of society, at the brink of circumstance. Oh, this is happening to me. This is happening to me. This is happening to me. This is not happening to me. This is happening for me. Maybe this is being able to shift back into the awareness of the observation mind instead of reacting, reacting to reacting. Most people live their whole lives out of awareness in reaction to everything that is happening. And the moment you begin to shift more into the observation mode is the moment you begin to shift more into your true power. You see, that is where the power is. I became aware that my whole past experience of my ex stepmom, of believing I had ADHD, all these definitions and labels, all of the belief that I had in that, all of the repetitive thoughts I could notice were all in reaction to everything. And when I began to observe it, I allowed them to be there. The key is to observe and allow, not to try to control. Try to control, it's like you against you, it's resistance. Allow, it's a paradox, but if you allow, it then you can observe it and allow it to be there, it naturally will go away. That's the paradox. And that's what I learned how to do. And it transformed my whole entire life because now I'm more awake. Reality is what we believed it to be, and reality is a form of dream. At a higher state of consciousness, we are unconditional love and bliss, dreaming that right now this is who we are. And at a greater level, we are so much more. But when we identify with our avatar in this life experience, we identify with this ego structure, that creates pain. But the awareness is that we are not just the ego. We are not just the avatar. Just like you may play a game of Sims on the computer and play a little character that gets up, that takes the kids to school, that goes back into the house and cleans up and then eats some food, that Sims character, you may play it and realize, oh, that's not who I am. But see, we log into this game of life because there's things to be experienced here. Right now, there is a massive transformation happening on the planet. So there's seven plus billion people that are here right now because everyone wants to be a part of this wave, this wave of consciousness shift that's happening right now. This shift of consciousness is going from the deep levels of being at the effect of everything, the deep levels of this dream to becoming lucid in the dream of life, to being aware that, hey, we're creating our own reality. We are choosing this. Let's change the momentum of focus. Let's go in this direction instead. It is time to wake up. And if you're seeing this video, then this is a sign that you are about to go through a massive shift in consciousness. That is actually the third sign that you are watching this video right now. If you can even perceive of me saying this and you even watch this video this far in, then you are about to go through a massive shift in consciousness. And I want to congratulate you. Now I'm not congratulating the ego you, the ego is like, yes, I'm going through this massive shift in consciousness. I'm congratulating the part of you that knows that it is time that is tired of the old systems, tired of the old structure, tired of the old game, the repetitive thoughts that are just on autopilot over and over and over again. You are so much more and you are becoming aware of this right now.
If you can even perceive of me, synchronicity is a sign that you are about to have massive shift in consciousness. Now understand that the only moment that does exist is this moment right now. That when you start to experience synchronicity, it just means you are now in alignment. You are in alignment with who you really are. This synchronicity will lead you to more and more amazing things. And because you are aware of this synchronicity, that is the key. Most people are just simply not aware. They're at the whims of society. They are reacting and reacting to everything that is happening. Therefore, they're not aware of their true power. The truth is the only moment that exists is this moment right now. And the more you become aware of all of these different synchronicities, the more you are present to the moment because everything exists here and now anyways. What enlightenment is about or a shift in consciousness is about is about knowing that you can go from doing and having into being in the present moment right now. Say yes to the present moment and understand that the more you are here and now, the more your life will begin to transform. But most people are still asleep, still asleep and identifying with past experience, looking through everything in their lives through the filter of the past. And the key is when you accept the past, you are aware of it and you just let it go. It just is what it is. And you look around and then you realize that the true power is right here and right now. And if you are watching this video, I want you to know that you are about to go through this massive shift in consciousness. You wouldn't be able to perceive of me saying this unless it were actually true. You can only perceive that which you are the vibration of. You are of the vibration of going through a massive shift in consciousness where you will start to be more in the present moment. Your life will begin to transform before you and you will become more aware of what you are currently creating in your life. You will be able to take your power back. You will be able to allow the old structures to fall away to then allow in the new. And the sign that this is going to happen is the sign that you can even perceive of me saying this to you. So congratulations. And if you want to experience more of this shift in consciousness, I'm creating a program right now that will help you go through this shift in consciousness and it will change your whole life. It has the potential to do that. I'm creating it right now. It's called the shift experience with Aaron Dowdy. It's going to be in the top of the description box below. So if you want updates as to when that goes live, it'll be live here with the next few months. And when it goes live, I will let you know. I will also be traveling the world doing speaking gigs and seminars on the shift experience, which will be helping people to go through this shift in consciousness to understand that you are high vibrational being. You are high vibrational. Anything less than that is an identification with the past experience. It's trying to have and do. Most people are creating with the law of attraction from that of the lesser paradigms. When you understand that you are that which you seek, that you can feel the emotions you want right now, that you can wake up past social conditioning into the present moment and that instead of being at the effective environment, you can be the cause. When you start to realize this, this is when everything begins to shift and this is the shift experience. So at the top of the description box below, if you want to join and this is the shift and I'm excited to share this with you and I'm excited to help you go through this shift in consciousness. Now, something else I'll be doing is more live Q and A's on Instagram. So if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. I do live Q and A's there. So if you want to interact, ask me questions. Plus I post daily content there as well. That is specifically for Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification gear next to the subscribe button so that you can see the daily vids that I do. The way YouTube does things now is you actually have to hit that button to see the daily vids. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.